Seems like a lot of people have been coming down with an upset stomach lately. <sighs> I'll need to address that. Tishin is really cute, I'm not gonna lie. I, again, I really do love- I do find the Mola scenes to be adorable in a way. And... <laughs> I, I did- I had speculation to see you being a Mela scene, but I just never could have confirmed it or not, so... Yeah, I- yeah. And that's not the reason why I find it cute, I just- I just want to see just designed to be cute to begin with. I just didn't know- but... Seeing her being a Mela and everything, and seeing the 3D model for the first time, yeah, she has a very adorable design, I'll say that much. It's very funny how she's a healer as well and a doctor, and the Hydra element, since... Water is typically the element regarding healing. In many JRPGs, anyone that is a water user are typically the best healers. Even in Genshin, Kokomi, Barbara. You really are something. To be able to fall asleep like that and even sleep talk the entire time, you skip time and have to death! Did I say anything I shouldn't have? No, but you kept mumbling things along the lines of Pyron, go take my grilled fish and Put down the Adeptus Temptation now! I did? Paimon talked with Sijuin the entire time you were asleep. She seems like she's just a sincere nurse and Paimon didn't notice anything unusual in the room. Are you sure we're not going off track with the infirmary? You did, but I did. Are we really off track though? There's still a few weird things about the place. That movable hatch on the ground, as well as the question sequence asked about Lorene. And also, were they really talking about their meds before we walked in? Oh, and was the V and Jiro's argument genuine or were they just playing on a show? Oh my god! Dude, okay. Believe me or not, I was thinking that like, okay, that argument is getting way too excessive. And I didn't want to say anything because it was mid-discussion. Is it really an argument or is it just a show? I'm so happy that Travel actually brought this up because I was also kind of paranoid about that too. This entire freaking fortress makes me paranoid, okay? I can't trust anybody except for like Lenny and Lynette. Like those like are literally the only thing I can trust here right now. Paimon, hear me out. Whoa, you really are super thorough. All those tiny little suspicious things that Paimon didn't even pick up on. We've got to give the info to Lenny. You no, know, me and Traveler, we're on the same. We're on the same wave right now. We're really accessing the morphogenetic. Field. Okay, I'll shut up. That's an inside joke and a more minus than inside joke. She's in the disguise. That does not look like a disguise. I that's just Linda in her outfit. Really? So all that so the times go up nine days. Are we really gonna be staying here for like thirty-five days? Let's go meet up with Lenny. Are are we gonna stay here for like forty-five days? <gasps> it just sped up. Cause by now, like what, fifteen days days should have passed by now? Like ten the like ten to fifteen days? We gotta talk. Now. Did you two run into any trouble over the past few days? No, we just worked our shifts according to the schedule. Nothing weird happened. For now. Hmm, that's good. That means you didn't raise any suspicions when you infiltrated the infant. I'm still not sure about We've taken a look at the slip you've sent. Fremine successfully left the grounds via the pipes two days ago, and as of last night, Lynette has also infiltrated the infirmary after faking an illness. Nice. Wait, why is she getting involved as well? You already went above and beyond when you scoped out the infirmary. To put it more bluntly, even if we were to view that as something you did in exchange for Fremine's help, you've already done more than enough. Infiltrating a guarded stronghold is a different kind of job from a one-off investigation. We want to avoid using the same faces over and over and reduce the amount of suspicion that will fall on any given person. That is correct. Lynette also felt like you have already taken the first step for us, so she should be the one to finish the job. It's so less that's what that way. Thinks. Oh, Paimon hopes everything's going well for her. 
Yeah, I'm not opposed to helping you. Hmm, perhaps that's true. You are both very good people, and we've come to appreciate that more than anyone else. Unfortunately, there's still one thing that could get between us, lest you've forgotten. The matter of our respective loyalties. You've mentioned before that you've had some run-ins with the Fatui. I can understand that feeling, so I assume you're just helping us out of the kindness of one your day. hearts? One day. Well, everyone can we use some to, more friends. We may have we'll to use... We'll be counting on you to help us in the future, too. Mm-hmm. Since I see you as friends, then it's even more important for us to protect you from any peril. Fremenet and Lynette feel the same way. Here's the thing though. One day there is going to be the critical decision where we end up siding with the Fatui because we know there's a bigger threat going on or not. And I and I just want to bring this up right now. Up to Sumeru, our goal is always against the Fatui, against the Fatui, against the Fatui. And Fontaine is where I said the story is going to take a shift, a turning point. From so much build up of little bits and pieces of lore here and there, building up to this, especially regarding the two Harbingers. Where the Harbingers can be in full force, but it can also be us working with the Harbingers this time properly, or understanding why the Harbingers are in this situation, doing what they're doing right now, between Fontaine and Notland. Because remember, Notland. Is where it can be Capitano, and Capitano is on good terms with Mondstadt, especially with Varka. So, it could be just like getting more alliances in the Fatui, not just by Harbingers, but maybe just by small members, by, by um, lower rank members like Lily, Lynette, Fremenet, maybe Totaglia if you can rescue him, maybe Alakino and I could be good terms. But it's gonna be a continuous build up in Fontaine and Notland of the Sashnaya, where now we know both sides of, both sides of the spectrum. The Harbingers and why we fight against them, but the Harbingers and why we would side with them. And then we can head and then we can hit Shesnaya. Both perspectives in mind. The good and the bad, and that's when we're gonna that's when the major plot reveals are gonna happen. I that that's my speculation on how story gets the back could go, especially regarding the three harbingers, because they're very omnipresent, but they're also not purely antagonistic. They have their own goals. And they have, and there's such a big organization that you can't side with a few members of them. And again, it's a slow, it's a slow act of build up over time. Just the thing that's been on my head for a long time, I just really want to get it out of my chest now. I get it now. Glad to hear it. Then, let's go check on Lynette before Fremenet returns. If everything went well, then she should be wrapping up her investigation right about now. Is now really a good time to go over? According to my observations, Sijuin always spends around half an hour away from the infirmary right before lunch. Lynette knows this as well, so this should be a good time to meet up with her. Oh yeah, we've heard about that too. Also, I'm her brother, remember? It's only natural for an older brother to care about his younger sister's well-being. Yeah, you certainly said okay, that in Act 1. let's head over right away! You said you'd do anything to protect your sister. Maybe even kill for her. So what's now? Is this where Lenny and I mean Lynette and Fremenet will go missing, or is it just Fremenet? Because I know at least one of them would go missing. Lynette should be here right now. Not by leaks, huh. not by spoilers, but speculation in the trailer. Strange. Lynette? Oh, they both gone missing. Siegwin isn't here, but why isn't Lynette here? Could she have found the lead and left to follow it? No, Lynette rarely deviates from the plan. We agreed that if she were to make changes on the fly, she'd find a way to let me know. I did trust that. I mean, you guys are Unless... twins. Is she compromised? Let's see if there are any clues around here. We can look while we wait for her. Who knows? Maybe she'll be back soon. Okay. See, the thing is, there is a line about Lily. Saying, Risley, we're my siblings, and then it shifted towards a line said by B Dog about people going missing, there are other ways to keep them. Here. I did all stuff by Risley, but no, it's said by B Dog. So, what on. So, this clearly a Lenny Risley confrontation coming there are some soon. Books here and a few files. But something else far away. Like hmm. 
Advanced nursing, how to raise the spirit of your patients, a quick guide to the psychology of emotions, and the meaning of laughter. Because she's not human. These sure are some interesting books. Who knew Sijuin would be interested in these kinds of things? She wants to understand humans. She even has books on understanding people's motivations and feelings. Hmm. Is it because she's a melazine? Yeah. Or does she have a need to understand her patient's emotional It's state? like Novella. Hmm. I'm pretty sure not Seems human either. normal to me. These are skills that would come in handy for a nurse from time to time. None of the beds have any signs of having been slept in, except that one over there. That's the one Lynette must have used, right? You said she was pretending to be sick. Mm hmm. She would have said her migraine was having a particularly bad flare up. Generally speaking, the head nurse would then ask her to lie down and rest while she left to retrieve the medication. But this bed is still unmade. Which means either the head nurse didn't return the entire time from when Lynette laid down up until she left the bed, or the nurse intentionally left it this way. Oh no. That's not a good sign. <sighs> Orisella? Oh god, Lenny's gonna crack. Ah! This is it! We saw it before! Wait, this thing? It doesn't look like it's been disguised that well. The space behind it is empty. From its size, I don't think it's an entrance that is meant to be taken apart. There's probably a mechanism around here somewhere. Could Lynette have tried to get inside? But if that's the case, she would have contacted me for sure. She was caught. Hmm. Oh god. Let's look around here for some more clues. Don't panic, just take another look. The look on Lenny's face. He's definitely beginning to panic. Don't panic. He probably said that consciously more for himself than anything else. Don't do my girl the note like this. Hey, you guys, there's a slip of paper over here. A slip of paper? It's right over here, and there's a bunch written on it too. It reads... Out of respect for your usual practices, I'll use a piece of paper or card as the medium to pass on my message. You may consider this as me giving you my best regards. I'm sorry? This is... Is... is that all? Is there anything on the back? The back? <sighs> this... this is... Show me! Now! Oh no. <laughs> That look on your face! P Paimon's reading it now! Would you care to guess where Miss Lynette of the Fatui could be? Right, right Slay! No! Could she have. Is she already. Right, Slay. Did he deliberately leave the infirmary unguarded to use it as bait? Sammy Sujin used us too. Wait, you mean he was aware of our ghouls from the very beginning? Why? We didn't run into any trouble last time, and he also never reached out to us since. That's on purpose. Seedrin set us up. I told you we can't trust her. Why would he choose to act during our second infiltration attempt instead of the first? Yes, that is a crucial question. Risley, he doesn't do anything without a clear goal or reason. So this means he had no concerns about your activities from the very beginning. And was he using You're us? You're not from the same camp as us. You were sent down here by Nervilet, so you have no conflict of interest with Risley. We're a completely different story, though. Why did he only go after Lynette? I'd like to know that, too. Why did he only go after her? <laughs> Don't panic. Just think everything over. I have to stay calm. This is not like what happened last time. The situation's different now.
Wait, you're right. Wait, but that means... Oh, no. No, 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 wait. The fact that Fremine was able to leave the grounds... Could Risley have let him go as well? Exactly. But what does he gain by letting Fremine leave like that? Oh, shoot. I knew this game too easy. All of us were being used. He was fine with Childish. He deliberately made them both disappear. So he's challenging me and trying to provoke me. Or is it just provoking sure Le it. Lenny specifically? Uh, we never should have sent out Fremine. We had to go through all that trouble to find an opening to sneak him around the guards and into the pipe, and we even thought luck was on our side. If Risley let him leave on purpose, then he's probably in a terrible spot now as well. Both of them are, in this, are set up. Lenny's getting more and more panicked. We have to calm him down. Lenny, calm down. Don't be like this, Lenny. Fremini wouldn't have left if we hadn't told you about Child. That was our fault. No. I'm the leader of this operation, and I'm the one responsible for this team. I was the one who failed to protect them. And yet I was the one that set you guys I'll up by accident. Hey, don't be reckless! Traveler, please talk some sense into him! You're not, you're not alone, Lenny. I simply cannot allow Lynette to be abducted again. I have to go. I'll find a way to get them back. We will. Not just you. He's rushed out the door. After him. Lenny. Hmm. You freaking snake. Yeah, she's smirking. Right. I feel like we still have some room to make changes on these details. Yeah, they, she absolutely knew. It's not impossible, but it'll require extensive testing. Is that so? Very well. Then please be mindful of the time. So that's what the conversation was, and she overheard us. Huh? Oh, Steve, you uh, snake. Is someone? Pack everything up. Whoever extensive says testing? Is eavesdropping. They'll probably come in once we stop talking. And let me guess, you guys were arguing on purpose. Whoa, are you okay? You all set us up. Ah, these two. As expected, they've already found this place. Oh, they are quite sharp. What a delightful turn of events. I like smart people, but... Oh, see, Dwayne. I like the feeling of being trusted. Again. It's the freaking final feast trailer. You know what we Dude, why didn't I catch why didn't I catch on to this? Why didn't I catch on to this? I caught like so much of the final feast stuff on like on like Acts 1 and 2. Why did I catch a sea queen? Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh my god, I got played. You you wanna know why? You wanna know why it got played? In the final feast trailer, we see Sejan trying to swap out Risley's drink as a gremlin act. Why didn't I catch on to that? Clever, Hoyaverse. Oh my! What's wrong, little one? You set Do us up, you gremlin. Take a deep breath before you begin. Being able to read human expressions is quite the useful skill. You trick. Lenny, wait! It's no use. We have to catch up to him. And let me guess, was Rice using us too? He's already out of sight. How is he so fast? Let's go head him off at Risley's office. Well, we know where Risley's office is.
Come out and face me, Risley! Hmm. Aren't we at an administrative office space? Why don't you at least try to follow even a couple rules from the Fortress's indoor management regulations? What did you do to my sister? I ran into the young miss at the infirmary. I'd heard that she was suffering from quite the migraine, so I decided to invite her over for a cup of tea. I do have some teas in my collection that can work wonders against such an illness. Stop joking around! Where did you take my siblings? I have also heard that your performances are quite the spectacle. Miss Lynette would sometimes enter a box filled with water, only to emerge the next second from another place altogether. <laughs> Maybe she'll appear behind you right now, if you were to turn your head. Is he trying to trick me into turning my head? No, he's probably not looking to attack me right now. All of the hostages are in his hands, and he's even in the mood for small talk. That means Lynette is probably still alive. You knew we were investigating the infirmary from the start, so you deliberately aroused the Traveler's suspicions and baited us into continuing our investigation, just so that you'd be able to kidnap Lynette. As for Fremini, no, you probably didn't even interfere with Child's escape. You let him go so you could purge the Fatui members that we wow, had planted so into your ranks. Wow, so Child's escape was also set up by Rice as well. There was no need to do so. The Fortress of Meripeed is a pretty pleasant place. Most people enjoy their lives here. The only ones who act differently are those with personal agendas. It was quite easy to identify your colleagues. You removed our original members and spread the news of Child's escape so Father would assign our team to come down and investigate. Fremenet has also fallen into your hands, right? If you're oh so omnipotent and so in control, why would you need hostages? One correction. Lynette is in my hands right now, but Fremenet is not. He's not? <sighs> what do you really want? Livy! Oh. Wonderful. Everyone is here, so I'll only need to say this once. Thank you so much for cooperating with me. And it seems the fact that he's played by the same fate as Claude. Also, just one more thing. You and Claude are just the same. Nothing but tricksters. Where are Lynette and Fremenet? I'm eager and to the point, I see. Alas, only Miss Lynette is currently having a cup of the Fortress's finest tea. Don't BS with me, Risley. Although, as per your original plan, Mr. Fremenet should also have returned to the fortress by now. But he has neither shown up within my gates, nor has he been taken into any kind of custody. So, where do you think he may be right now? Wait, you can't mean... You locked him outside in the sea? That is psychotic. I closed the fortress's gate to the outside world. That's all. Fremenet's a star diver, so he should be fine, right? Even the best divers cannot live without oxygen for long, Paimon. You know that. Also, not to shade on Risley's VA, I'm just saying the fact that he, the, fa the fact that his VA also plays Claude just kind of proves my point that Risley is an absolute trickster, and I was per and I was correct to easily just suss him out from the gate. No, we're still here, so he definitely tried to find a way to come back for us. So we can't assume he might have made a break for the surface. But why would I do this, you may be asking? To have an audience with you, of course. My intel tells me that Mr. Linney is a great magician, so it's only natural for me to want to have some cards of my own when it comes to negotiating. What do you want, Risley? Besides, I do recall you mentioning to Miss Lynette that you've always wanted to have a face-to-face -face meeting with the Lord of the Fortress of Meripede, regardless of whether it was in a personal or a professional capacity. Well, you got your wish. So, you've been keeping tabs on us before we even set foot in the Fortress. Some of my folks just happened to hear a thing or two, that's all. In any case, I will be straight with you. I was willing to play dumb and turn a blind eye, so we had a pleasant few days Ironic. playing games together here. But once you started focusing on the Forbidden Zone, all of that changed. Mr. Linney, the cards are stacked against you right now. Miss Lynette is in my hands, and Mr. Fremenet is still slowly being pickled out there in the brine. You know just as well as I that he cannot last out there forever. You need do but one thing to guarantee their safety. I would like you to contact your superior, and ideally, invite her over for a cup of tea with me. You want to see father? 
But why should she bother giving you an audience? Well, if she cares for the well-being of her dearest children, she should have plenty of motivation to join me for a parent's evening. I've heard that the bonds between the members of the House of the Hearth are like the bonds of family. I don't see why she would refuse. Why did you think Father sent us to handle the Fortress of Meripede? This place is basically a no-man's land. It wouldn't be fitting for anyone as important as a Harbinger like Father to come here in person. Oh, I see. So it's because she doesn't care for my place here. <sighs> That's such a shame. After all, I've amassed quite the tea collection. I was looking forward to sharing it with her. Both Monsieur Nervillet and Lady Farina have already received many samples as gifts. So he Was does play the fool with a main antagonist. Plan to get to father? With this act, at least. No matter Which how much pressure you may put on me, uh, it's song, I won't allow so. you to use us to blackmail her. You people really are difficult to get along with. All I'm asking for is a face-to-face -face conversation. Does she truly have no interest in the fortress's secret? What? Mr. Linney. You have one last chance to invite your father here. If you refuse... <sighs> Linny! Why do you have to do this? Instead of asking why I'm doing this, why don't you try to see things from my perspective for a second? From the very beginning, the Fatui has been actively infiltrating my fortress. I gave you a warning by cutting off the first few operatives I found, but that only caused you to double down. Had you given up on the fortress then and there, I'd have no reason to want to talk. Mr. Fremenet left the fortress on his own, and Miss Lynette tried to pry out my secrets right in front of me. No matter how you look at it, the responsibility for this falls on you. Maybe you should blame your oratories for fault accusing child. I, I shouldn't ask Father to do anything because of us. Six. Five. Wait, I... Two. One. Time's up. It really is a shame, Mr. Lenny. Risley! Negotiations have broken down. Please leave, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for my afternoon tea. <laughs> Please wait. Can we really talk about this some more? You do realize that I'm only letting you go because of Nervillette, yes? You're here helping him out, and I've already done my best to stay out of your way. No, you did not. But that doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want. The fortress may be small and remote, but it still has its own set of laws. I want to say friendly Elena too. Hmm. Then how about this? Those who are capable deserve respect. You've spent quite some time investigating my home turf by now, so why don't you tell me a thing or two about what you found, hmm? I'll ask you three questions. Answer all of them correctly, and I'll agree to your request. Question one. Regarding the hidden rules of the production zone, what is the truth behind the one about not being allowed to work for three days in a row? I can't believe he's asking about the hidden rules. If I recall correctly, if you keep working without any rest, during lunch an hour of their day, you'll find a portion of strange meat in your wall for a meal. It's a good thing that we really run a thorough investigation on this. Let's see if I can remember all the clues. I should be able to find an answer if I piece everything together. Oh, this is why. Who will see if you keep working continuously? I've been told that the infirmary is always empty for the half hour just before lunch. Sigjuin? But what could Sigjuin be doing during that time? The Fanta promoter has been struggling because he doesn't recognize the real value of coupons. Meanwhile, the Duke believes that only idiots who don't understand the value of coupons will spend them on Fanta. We often see Miss Sijuin observing the prisoners at work near the production no matter zone. What? This it Sijuin. seems like she can perceive the general state of a person's health just by looking at them. If she should recommend us what food we should eat. Fanta's internal report suggests that they're starting a new trial of an unnamed and unpackaged product. But the product has to undergo a trial because even Fanta's own employees have a lot of reservations about it. 
The research notes said that the Melusine race perceives the world very differently from humans. As a result, the Melusines have also developed a sense of aesthetics that appears rather strange and alien to humans. According to Collins, the Pancration Tournament only took place because the Fanta Company sponsored it. The company must want to return on their investment as well. I think it's this one. We often see Miss Sijuin observe. Under what circumstances the strange may appear? I've been told that the infirmary is always empty for the half. The Fanta promoter has been struggling. Be Fanta's internal report suggests that the. The research notes said that the Melusine race perceives the world very differently Under from what humans. circumstances? As a result, the Melusines have also developed a sense of aesthetics. According to Collins, the Pancration. Tr this one. The research notes said that the Melusine. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's just behind this. I've been told that the infirmary is always empty for the half hour just be- Oh, shoot. Yeah, it was all about Sijuin. She changes the meat. Ah, so that's what's going on. Paimon understands it now. Who would have guessed? The hidden rule of the production zone. People are not supposed to work three days in a row, and if they do, they'll get strange meat in their welfare meal. At first, we thought this strange meat must have something to do with the people who disappeared. But in reality, they were all prepared, prepared by Sijuin, the head nurse. nurse. She often visits the production zone to observe the workers' health and makes a note of anyone who has worn themselves out after three full days of work. And then she goes to the... Out of her sense of duty as the head nurse, as yeah. well as her genuine concern for she the workers' the health, Sijuin visits the cafeteria right before lunch and cooks an extra dish for those who can use the stamina boost. Sijuin has only the best intentions with her surprise gift and doesn't want anyone to find out about what she does. However... People disappear. Unfortunately, Melusines as a race perceive the world differently from humans, and their sense of aesthetics is even more alien to us. Yep. The recipients of her lovingly prepared special meals cannot taste the care within and usually just freak out. Are we on the right track? <laughs> Not bad. You've uncovered Sijuin's secret and even guessed her intentions correctly as well. I can it's tell nice her. to know that her efforts have not gone unacknowledged. All right, now for my next question. Maybe there she are does also have some hidden rules in the Pancration Ring, including the one that you're not allowed to support both sides of a fight. Why is that? You give him the ball of crimson red liquid. The hidden rules of the Pancration Ring. If I remember, if someone tries to support both boxes at the same time, they will see you package the next two in the next morning. Which contains a strange blood colored liquid. We've all done a lot of research on this matter. Let me set through what I found and come up with the correct answer. Who sends this? I've been told that the infirmary is always empty. We know that we, we know that it cannot be siege wine, so it has to be these. Fanta's three. internal report suggests that they're starting a new trial of an unnamed and un the Fanta promoter has been struggling because he Oh, could it be the font of Promoter? According to Collins, the Pancration Tournament only... Okay, so who sent this one? And this is... Why is the good way it does? Why did this one buy a ticket support both fighters to see the package? The font of Promoter has been think... struggling because... Yeah, okay, so this one's the font of Promoter. Why does it look this way? Fanta's internal report suggests that they're starting a new trial of an unnamed... Even that their own... According to Collins, the Pancration Tournament... Okay, no, okay, yeah. So this Fanta's is this. Internal so report. it's this one, and then this According one's the last one. Collins, the... Oh no, it's the reverse. The Fanta promoter has been. It is. Font it is the Fanta promoter, and it is. According to Collins. Collins. The Pancration. Oh, so Collins the one that sends it. Right? Is it not Collins? I thought the Fanta. I thought the Fanta promoter sends it to me. Too now. 
so there really was nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, it's just Fanta, which kind of makes that sense. The hidden rule of the Pancration Ring is about how, um, people are not supposed to bet on both boxers at the same time. And if they do, they'll receive a package containing a strange blood-colored liquid. People get scared when they see it because they've subconsciously begun to associate it with the missing boxer. But really, it's just a bottle of the latest yet to be named and packaged new Fanta trial product. So a these blood rumors... red drink. It's no wonder even Fanta's own staff were questioning the company's decision making. So these rumors were always existing since like the beginning of the Fortress of Merope, especially when the riots they took over. But they were only started so being associated with people going missing because Tartaglia was the one that kind of spread this and the and his little cronies. The company, facing backlash from its own staff, decided to try to trial the product on a smaller scale to see how it might be received by customers. They came to the Fortress of Meropede and offered to sponsor the Pancration Tournament so they could push their new product. But the Duke completely refused to even entertain the idea. The Duke, knowing how valuable coupons are in the Fortress, knew that only total idiots who didn't understand their true value would bother buying a Fanta product Oh, but that's why both people that bet and on both so sides can get only it. only those who proved their stupidity by being dumb enough to bet on two opposing sides of the same match were selected to receive the drinks. I acknowledge the effort you've put into bringing the truth of this mystery to light. So that's the truth. The, they had Although nothing to do with based on your people. description, that Fanta promoter is a bit too careless with his words. I may just reconsider my collaboration with the company. That's the one thing can agree with you on. Right, here's the final question. What's the secret behind our head nurse and all of her patients in the infirmary? Well, we know she's a melusine. We haven't collected enough info to answer that question. Stop your cruel and pointless games, Risley! You know that we haven't finished our investigation, so there's no way we can answer the last question. The thought of sparing Lynette and Fremen never even crossed your mind! Lynette! You'll pay for this! <laughs> Lenny, Are you alright? What happened? Oh, <laughs> close one. I owe you, Siegewin. That was a fantastic shot. There was nothing Siege to win. Siegewin? Though this gun may look like a toy, it's actually fully functional, as I just demonstrated. See, Wayne, you. <laughs> Honestly, I, this is not that big of a surprise to me. I knew she was an accomplice. Not at all. I am merely a resident of BS. the BS, and thus protecting it is my duty. When Monsieur Nervulet asked me to come here. He told me that my job would be to take care of the well-being of everyone here. I am merely just Don't use Nuala's name in this, excuse your actions. But if you mean what you just said, then isn't Linny someone you should be looking after as well? Isn't he a resident here just like the rest of us? If you're close with Nuala, why not learn a thing or two about virtue from him? But I really am just doing what Monsieur Nervulet told me to do. Everything I did, I've done to protect them. Had I not, they would be in far more dire And is kidnapping Lynette and Fremenay count? Your Grace knows it too, right? Your Grace? Mind proving my innocence to them? <sighs> my dear Sijuin, whatever shall I do with you? Would it have killed you to just wait another minute or two? Well, it's nearly time after all. <sighs> the way you do things can be truly frustrating sometimes, Your Grace. I figured I should try to talk some sense into you. What are you talking about? What time? Take me if you want, but let them go. Mm hmm, how touching. Can you just give me one more minute? Don't be like that, Your Grace. All right, everyone, calm down. Two more visitors will be arriving any time now. Two more fistlers? I'll go get a cup of tea. Miss Sijuin, I leave Miss Lynette in your care. Wait, what? You... What are you doing? I believe I hear footsteps. A familiar figure. Cloran. Space, please. Ah, Miss Clorand. And Fremenet. 
From an A to from an A. What's going on? What is Claren doing here? Work. I'm sorry about shooting you, Mr. Linny. The tranquilizing effect will begin to wear off soon. Please take it easy in the meantime, though. What happened to Fremenet? Wasn't he diving just outside of the fortress? Why is he looking like... Like this? These symptoms, it can't be. A flushed face, an accelerated pulse. He must have consumed primordial seawater. Oh my god. What did you say? Please, make some space. I'll need to give Mr. Fremini a more thorough checkup. Your Grace, I'll leave the rest to you. I'll talk to Clorand while you get Fremini to where he needs to be. Everything else can wait. Wait. If he consumed primordial seawater, then shouldn't he be dead by now? Is Fremenet not Fontanian? <sighs> the next expression looked disgusted. It seemed he rather ha not have sequent touch Fremenet. Still, he didn't stop her, since it's obvious that Fremenet does require urgent medical care. Swoojin so examined Fremenet carefully. She does look too upset, which is a good sign. I hope Fremenet will be okay. How is he? These symptoms are probably caused by an acute ingestion of a large amount of primordial seawater. Still, his condition is not critical. Of course, it would be best if he stayed for further observation. Let's leave him here for now, and move him to the infirmary once he's recovered a bit more. Uh, sorry, I am aware that the infirmary may not be your favorite place in the world at the moment. We do only have a single clinic in the fortress, however. <sighs> Why would he ingest a large amount of primordial seawater after leaving the fortress? How could that possibly happen? It's because the fortress Please, is surrounded by Mr. primordial seawater? I'll go fetch some medicine and a respirator. Oh, I'll bring Miss Lynette back with me. Where is she? How is she right now? Oh, she just took a nap in an empty room after I tranquilized her. If my calculations are correct, she should also be waking up right around now. You might not believe me, but His Grace and I actually made some snacks and tea for her. Are you serious? Lily has finally begun to stop tensing the muscles on his face. It seems that he trusts what Sigrun just said. 